Hey guys, welcome back to the name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm coming at you with a random crochet tip. Random crochet tip number one. <laughs> I'm just going to post these as I think of them randomly, hence the name random. But this is one that I've started doing forever ago. Well, like a year ago. <laughs> and it's helped me a lot, especially with projects that include bobbins. Which, if you don't know what that is, like if you have a graph can or something and you need multiple colors to work with at different times throughout it, to keep from having to cut and weave in a bedrillion ends, you would keep your yarn ball attached to your project and just drop it while you work with another color. And, you know, you can buy big clothespin thingies at the dollar store. A lot of people do that. But one thing that I do when my bobbins aren't this big... <laughs> because normally my bombs are like that large, is I um, I get hair clips and put on them. At my Dollar uh, Tree, which is a United States store, and I, I know Calif or California, <laughs> Canada has a similar store called Dollarama, and I'm sure there's other ones in other countries too. But we have these sets here that are, they're a dollar for eight of them, and some of them are ten for a dollar. <clears throat> I always just grab these ones. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I have random yarn balls, I just wrap it up and then clip it on there like that and it keeps it from getting all tangled up in my box of yarn balls so and it helps with bobbins like I said and when I do graph gains or anything like that I just use these but on smaller bobbins obviously not something this large but yeah it's just handy and it keeps it from getting a huge tangled mess and it's pretty easy to you know slide in and out uh, without getting tangled up on stuff so yeah there's a random crochet tip for you